Sometime around 1990, I saw that there was an empty shop front here on Craig Street. I said to my girlfriend, who later became my wife, let's open up a bookshop and see what happens. So by 1991, we had a bookshop on Craig Street here, and we've been here ever since, and it's been a good business. Oakland has been good to us. The bookshop serves the academic community as well as readers and collectors and other dealers. Since the age of 12 or 13 or so, I've been in the book business in one sense or another. I'd always liked Oakland as a, um, a place to possibly have a bookshop. I figured with the museum nearby as well as Pitt, there's also Carlo and then there's CMU, we would have a, a strong community of book buyers around here. The record store came about because our main store manager, Chris Collins, his interest is more in music than in books. I thought, well, there's one corner of the shop that hasn't really been used that much. We had our leather-bound books there and some other things that just weren't being looked at. And I asked him, would he want to have a kind of a, a record store within a bookstore? There's many different things to learn. I like learning new stuff. It seems like uh, is that there are a lot of people that they get involved in whatever they're doing, and that's as far as they go as far as learning. And there's so much more. I mean, you can come in here and see how many different types of books there are. It's it's fun. Every day is different. Um, get to interact with all the people, and uh, it's it's nice to be a part of something that a whole lot of people feel is important. So it's it's nice to have a role in that. Having a bookstore part of a community is, I think, one of the anchor cultural things to have in a, in a neighborhood. In smaller, um, you know, indie, for lack of a better term, bookstores, it's dependent on the location, it's dependent on the clientele, it's dependent on the owner. It's so many factors that, you know, each one is kind of a gem, and it's, uh, everyone is different. And that's, I think, I think what, what people look for in a store. We realized that, uh, Something about books has a paradox at the middle of it. Reading and books are private, isolating experiences between the book reader and the book. That everyone comes with their own stories and narratives and, and their own interests, and, and that reading is a wonderful special activity that's done in private, in a way. And that's the best part of it. That is, it's a relationship that you establish with your book on your terms and that that's something that you can't do with anybody else in the same room with you.